I can understand how Coach Prime's comments would have many upset with what he stated, especially with the sun shining bright on the visiting side of the stands in the game between Jackson State versus Grambling in the vet this past weekend. Now, I ran into a nice lady that was in the grocery store today on my way home from work who stated that she was at the Orange Blossom Classic, sitting over there in that area Very where faithful. they were sitting over there with that sun beaming down on them in which the band was like right next to them. So she had some comments herself that, you know, we stand in the middle of the grocery store talking about some things in which she let me in on. She said, Coach, I'm going to tell you no tale. It was steaming over there. She had no choice but to get up and leave. But, guys, we're going to get into the comments Coach Prime made that got everybody a little pissed off right now. Let's get into it right after this. You know it's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in a free to tell them to come on in. It's another positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and tap on in this thing and get straight to it. Because I know y'all like Coach. What's your thoughts on what was stated during the halftime uh, the halftime presser as well as the post-game post presser? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Coach Prime and Jack State has set the HBC world on fire with the win over Grambling State, 66-24. to Coach is going to give a post-game rundown on the Jack State versus Grambling State game after this video. So you guys make sure y'all tune in, tap in, and tell a friend about that one as well. But you know what? Things got a little spicy out there because it left some of the folks up in the Fed a little pissed off at the fact that Coach Prime made these comments about fans leaving as well as the band before the game was over because Jack State was up 14 points. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, not only was that heat sweltering in Jackson, Mississippi, it was cooking here where I'm at as well in Georgia. And I'm being real with you. I was on the sideline coaching Saturday. And let me tell you something. It got so hot, I had to sit my behind down on the bench and relax that's how hot it was because I know those kids as well as myself. They were they were they were dehydrating out there, which we ran through three 10 gallons of water within a matter of 20 minutes. I had to keep sending people back and forth to go get more water just so we can keep the kids hydrated on the sideline. That's that's even including the kids that didn't play. So if it was that hot out there for them kids, I can imagine how those young men were feeling out there on the field playing a game this past weekend. Yeah. But I can understand some of the folks feelings as far as them feeling some kind of way about the comments about the band leaving once Jackson State got up 14 points. Kind of like the same thing that happened in the Orange Blossom Classic. Well, let's be honest with one another. We know that their heat was sweltering and it was something out of control, especially there in Miami. I was there at that game and I was looking at how that heat was beaming down on that one side, one side of the stage, one side of the stadium, excuse me. And I, me, myself, if I was sitting over there, I would have got up and left too. It was cooking out that bad boy. But I'll be honest with you. I think once Coach Prime sits down and look at everything and get more intel as far as what um, what all took place and the reasons why everybody was booking up out of there, getting up out the stadium in the manner which they did, I think he might. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to put the words in nobody's mouth saying that they're going to do. He may come back with a different mindset as far as what's going on. And I understand from the standpoint of, you know, saying that, you know, we want black excellence, we want to see more people in the stands, so on and so forth. I respectfully understand that as well. But I'm just I'm just gonna be I'm a, I'm gonna be a little standoffish on that on those on the on those comments that he made. I'm gonna be a little standoffish on that as of right now. But the comments that everybody else, you know, the comments that everybody got a little pissed off about him saying that um Jack State was playing down in their competition. Guys, let's be honest with one another here for a second. Let me, let me take you back in the carousel, and I know a few of you might get upset with Coach on this, but, hey, a lot of you say all the time, Coach, you call it fair. So guess what Coach is going to do? Coach is going to call it fair. And to be honest with you, when he was saying that they're playing down to the competition, let me take you back now. Let's come back here to Georgia. Let's go to Atlanta, Georgia, down in the Celebration Bowl. What happened? In that game, Jack State came out, they scored. And in the back of Coach's mind, Coach Prime's mind, I'm sure – it took him back to that place of them being in that on, excuse me, them being in that celebration bowl in which Jackson State did not close out. What do I mean by close out? Jackson State had the opportunity to put more points on the board after they put that seven points on, put that seven points up by uh Corbin, who caught that touchdown pass in the first quarter. Corey Fields, remember now, Corey Fields threw an interception to Silo Sanders. 
in which Jack State was able to add, they had the opportunity to add more points on the what board. Happened? They got stopped. Fourth and one in the red zone when Shador Sanders tried to do a QB sneak. Then after that, they come back. What happened? Jack State gets the ball again. Shador Sanders fumbles deep in deep in the you know deep in Jack State's territory, giving South Carolina State the opportunity to go ahead and put points on the board. What happened? They South Carolina State started getting their mojo. They started getting their flow together. They scored a touchdown. 9-7 off. After that, they come back to get the ball again and kick a field goal. Now, South Carolina State is up 10-7. You get where I'm going with this. And after that, it seemed like Jackson State just continued to keep losing their footing time and time and time again in this game in which they were not able to come back and win the Celebration Bowl. And trust you me, I'm sure Coach Prime had that in the back of his mind. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not about to allow my, I'm not going to allow my team to fall back in that hole again. I got to find a way to get them out that hole right now. And in that instance, him making that comment and went to the locker room, letting them know, hey, listen, y'all ain't trying to retire y'all mama. Y'all ain't trying to go pro. One thing people fail to understand is this. You have a Hall of Fame defensive back, one of the best to ever do it. Matter of fact, the best to ever do it. Played this game at a high clip, won multiple Super Bowls. He understands what it takes to get out here and make this thing work. There's no way in the world as a coach, you're going to allow your players to come in there and be mediocre thinking that, you know, hey, you're giving a half behind effort. I almost said the other word, half behind effort, that that's going to be okay. If you're saying that we're going to come out here and dominate, then guess what? We got to do exactly that. And in this instance, Jackson State was not dominating in the first half of that game. You gave up 17 points in the first half off of turnovers. Excuse me, 10 points off of turnovers. One daggone touchdown was given up because we took the wrong angle on making sure you stopped Maurice Washington from getting up the field. I stayed in the pregame. That young man is going to be a load. If he squared them shoulders up and he get up that field in one of the creases, guess what? He's to the house. Only difference he did in that run compared to the runs that he was running all day, all day long, he cut that ball back inside between the guard and the tackle instead of taking it outside the tackle and up the sideline. That was the only difference. And guess what? The fifth of back was out of, he was out of his lane making sure that he controlled or make sure he kept Mar uh, Maurice Washington contained to keep him from getting up the field. You know, once that kid get past, get past you, he's gone. He's out of there. You're going to shoot him out like a rocket. But, as I stated before, guys, yes, thinking back to all of the things that transpired in the first half of that game, that took Coach Prime, in my my personal opinion, it took Coach Prime back to that back to here in Atlanta when he was in the Celebration Bowl against South Carolina State, where they just let that game fall through their fingers, in which they did not take advantage of the opportunities that they had to put more points on the board. So I can understand where he's coming from with that, but you know, once again, guys. There's some things that go on with coaches and, you know, a coach's mindset when they're trying to get these kids up for a game. Because if you allow your kids to play down at a level that a team may not be playing at, at that time, and that's not saying that the team is bad, terrible, or any other word somebody want to say, oh, they suck. That's, that's, that's not it. What it is is that at this point in time, that team does not have their footing where they're able to give you their best punch. You know, it's like they hit you, they just, they, they hit you. A lot of times you go out there and play them team, they go, hey, they're going to crack you behind let you know, hey, listen, you're in a game. You're going to fight for this game. Guess what? Hey, and in the instance, you're going to find whatever it takes to get your team back locked in to do what they need to do. And that's what I believe that he did in this instance. I think Coach Prime, you know, Coach Prime, once he sits down and really reevaluate everything, I think he'll, he'll understand some things as far as stuff that was said. And he may address everybody tomorrow. We, we shall see. But like I said, make sure you tune in, tap in, tell a friend about the post game that I'm going to drop on the Grammar versus Jackson State. Well, that's Texas Southern versus Southern University. Oh, my God. Hey, body had an out-of-body experience. I told y'all, you know what? I, I Wait wait till I tell you about the story. Y'all be like, Coach, are you crazy? Yes, Coach Coach messed up big time. Y'all got to tune in to this. I got to tell you about it. But, guys, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Hey, until next time, remember, be the one and lead.